So here is my 1969 Bell System Western Electric Princess phone in the beige colour. Now this is a really nice example of a princess. I don't really think it's seen a whole lot of use as it's in great condition. As you can see I also have the original box with it which is really cool. That's like the icing on the cake. It's quite nice to have the original packaging with the phone after all this time. That's quite unusual and nice to have. So the princess phone made its debut in 1959. I was quite surprised to find that the Trimline phone came out after the Princess phone. I thought it was the other way around. So that's interesting to know. So the Princess phone was originally model 701B. It later was replaced by the 702B, which is what this one is. And they're both identical. The only difference is the 701B didn't have an internal ringer. And I believe Western Electric hadn't yet developed a ringer small enough to fit inside the Princess phone casing um, when it was ready to be launched. So... I believe that's why the 701 never had a ringer, but later versions of the Princess throughout the 60s, etc. had an internal ringer, as does this one. So anyway, um, the Princess phone was quite iconic for the fact that it had a backlit dial. It actually has two settings, you can use it as a night light, so you have a little light at the side of your bed, or you can use it as a dialing light when it's in a dark room, so when you lift the handset the light comes on full and um, it lights the entire dial up in the dark, which I will show you at the end of the video. I'll also try and show you the little dim night light, which is quite hard to show on camera because it is only dim. But you do see it quite bright, to be honest, in a dark room. So anyway, this one's all original. As you can see, it has its original hardwired handset cord and its original hardwired line cord. And the line cord does have its original four-pronged bell system plug on the end, which is cool. That's also beige, so that's nice. And that's plugged into a four prong adapter which is going into this splitter there um, and the other side here this black one is the um, dial light transformer because this being an incandescent bulb it's too powerful for the line to power it so it did need an external power source now i'm not sure if the phone company back in the day put the voltage on the other two wires on the line and then um, used it that way instead of having a transformer externally um, I could be wrong, but it, maybe it always had a transformer, I don't know. But anyway, this is how you do it in this day and age. Um, so yeah, it's just a 6 volt transformer. and um, So basically, there's four wires, four conductor wires in this line cord. And the um, I think it's the white and the um, black that take the light um, power. And the green and the red take the line power. And of course that's plugged into my uh, line over there. Anyway, that's slightly irrelevant. Here it is. It's in really nice shape. Here's the handset. It's a regular um, Western Electric G3 type handset, which the 500 used. So there's the receiver. There's the transmitter. As you can see, it says Bell System Property, not for sale, Western Electric. And it does have an electronic transmitter in there, which I put in myself, because it does give better transmit. So as you can see the switch hooks are also clear, so you can actually see this left one in the dark um, when you have the dial lit up, so it helps you guide the handset back to the cradle, so that's a nice feature. So um, this number card here I made, um, this phone apparently was from a high-end estate sale in St. Louis, Missouri, so I found a random telephone number online and I um, just printed it to make it look like an original. So it keep the phone looking that bit more authentic. Um, so I oiled the dial. So it's got a good smooth return on it now, as you can see. And then if you remember from the before video, the base was all rusted. As you can see, I've cleaned all that up. Now it's not perfect and it never will be, but I've got rid of all the rusting and it's just left some staining. But that's nothing really, so it's quite shiny really now. Um, and it's got a new cork um, base on it. So it's like a cork rubber mix. It's slightly different than the original, but it is actually better at not sliding around. So as you can see there, it's a 702B, made in December 1969. It says the Princess Phone, Bell System Property Not For Sale. And there's the loud and soft adjustment for the ringer. And there's the uh, little section there you can open with a coin to remove the lamp. Now the 701B Princess had a screw-in bulb. The 702B, which is what this one is, has a wedge-based bulb. 
What was interesting about the princess film when they advertised them, they had a cute little slogan that went with it, which was, it's little, it's lovely, it lights, which I thought was really cute. But anyway, the princess film was marketed by the Bell system as being an extension phone for bedrooms, hence the lit dial. So it's a nice little phone, you know. So I'll uh, demonstrate it dialing out. So there's the dialing tone. So there you go. So I'll turn the lights off and I'll show you the uh, light features. So as you can see that's just in the normal setting. When you lift the handset the dial light comes on. So it's very bright, it's probably not showing up um, as bright as it is in real life on camera. But there's the uh, switch hook that lights up. So I'll dial this number so you can uh, um, see me dialing it in the dark. And it'll be um, busy, this number, because it's the number for this phone. Making sure I'm not dialing it wrong, which I probably have. Oh no. So yeah, there's plenty of light there for you to see. And when it's hung up on the cradle and you switch it to the other setting, you can just see the little night light there, which does show up quite bright in a dark room. Of course it comes on then, when you lift the handset. So I'll switch the uh, light back on and I'll ring it for you which will conclude this video. So here you go, it's got a nice tone to it. So there you go, hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching.